extremely stressful time when selling your property. Martin Cooper from Harcourts is here with some great advice to help avoid that stress. Morning, Martin. Good morning. Good so to see you. What do we need to do? Because it is, it's one of the most stressful times in your life, isn't it? Selling your property. Well, it can be. You know, the Reader's Digest years ago, I was reading, they did a survey on stress. So they interviewed people, what's the most stressful thing in your life? First thing they came up was like uh, death of a close relative. Second to that was uh, a separation, be very stressful. And the next thing was moving. Mm. So it's your home's your castle, you know, you escape from the world there and all of a sudden there's people coming in at all different hours and different times. So what I think you need to get is an agent who's a good communicator. They keep you informed right the way through. Everything that's going on, they've got to be, you've got to be ahead of the game. You've got to know what's coming up. So make sure your agent's a good communicator. It's right. number one to avoid the stress. What else do you think you need to look for? Because you've got your agent and you want to try and alleviate some of that stress. Then obviously you start looking at, say, the price of marketing and all those other factors that come into it. What do you look for in those circumstances? Well, a lot of people say, look, we pay an agent's fee and then you want more money for marketing. Years ago, without the internet and all, there'd be a little run on ads in the Herald and we'd work Monday to Friday and life was quiet. <laughs> but now it's a competitive environment. So what I recommend is a saturation market campaign. You need to have signage on the property, flyer drops around the neighbourhood. You need to be on the internet, in the print media, because right. the more people you can get through your property, the more chance you've got to get. Yeah. a great result. And that makes perfect sense really, doesn't it? Should I be selling my pro should I be buying a new home before I sell my home? Oh, good question. Um, I recommend selling your own home before you go out buying. Uh, you can extend a possession date, you can nominate the possession date to so you give yourself a sell your house, know how much you've got to work with yeah. and All then get out money. hunting. And you're also you're far better off to negotiate with the purchaser be, uh, with the um, seller because if you've got your cash, you're not conditional, you mm. can go in and, and get a better... I've uh, got a briefcase full of money, yeah. this is what I can do with you. Well, you know where you are. Mm. There's no... And it's, it does become less stressful. Unless you can't find one, then... No, <laughs> then it's very no, stressful. That's the thing, I think that's but, what people panic about. It's like, ah, oh, will I ever find another house yeah. again? But, but renting for a while, renting for a while is yeah. an adventure too. It's yeah. not the end of the world, is it? No, it's not. Okay, what about for those people that um, own a home and they're looking at moving into a retirement village? Can you give us some advice on that? Because I know a few people that are dealing with that at the moment. Well, I think people need to look at moving while they're fit and able. A lot of people are getting a bit older and they think, oh, I'm not ready for that yet. But the worst circumstances I've seen is when people have had a fall, they've broken their hip or something, then the family's coming in and they've lost control of their future and their destiny. So if you're thinking about selling your family home and getting into a retirement village, go in and check it out and do it while you're fit and able. Yeah. Go a bit earlier. And I'll tell you what, They're I've seen people, flash. they get a new lease of life. We've sold people that point in over on the North Shore. Lady Jan Fisher there, go and see her, she is lovely. <laughs> but you, I go in there, visit the people, they, they're happy, they're in a community, they're not out in the suburb, they're not isolated. I'd recommend it, do, do it while you fit and able. Yeah. Do it while you fit and able. Thank you very much. You are the sharpest dressed man in real estate, by the way, Martin. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming into the cafe. <laughs>